Welcome to Multiplying Tens. In this lesson I'm learning how to multiply tens, hundreds, thousands and other tens numbers. Let's start with this example here. Uh, I've got five times six or maybe five groups with six suites in each group. Let's start by drawing a picture of that. Here are my five groups and inside each group I've got six suites. Now we know that five times six equals thirty and we're going to see how this question here can help us answer some other questions like what are five groups of sixty? Well to start with let's think how does five times sixty look different from five times six? Well I still have five groups But this time, inside each group, I have 60 suites. Now you can see that all of these groups down here are 10 times bigger than these groups up here. See here we had 6, but here we had 60, which is 10 times more. So when we uh, multiply these out, 5 times 60, you would expect that our answer is also going to be 10 times bigger, which means it's going to be 300 instead of 30. Now we can check that by adding them up if we wanted to. 60 plus another 60 is 120, plus another 60 is 180, plus another 60 is 240, plus another 60 is 300, which is our answer here. But remember, we're going to see if we can spot some patterns between these ones here, between these, between these questions. Let's try one more which is uh, really similar. Uh, this time, we'll still have five groups, but this time we'll put 600 suites in each one. So I'll draw my five groups again. And as I'm drawing these, see if you can think what our answer is going to be here. So, here it tells me how many I need in each group. It's 600 here. So you can see that all of these groups here have got 10 times more in them than when I was multiplying by 60, or they've got a hundred times more than when I was just multiplying by 6. Well, each of these numbers here are 100 times bigger than when I had five groups of 6, so I would expect my answer to be 100 bigger than the answer I got for 5 times 6, which means my answer is going to be 3,000. And just like last time, we can check our answer by adding if we wanted to. Uh, 600 plus another 600 is 1,200, plus another 600 is 1,800, plus another 600 is 2,400, and plus another 600 is 3,000. Now let's see if we can use this pattern to help us answer some questions. Uh, let's imagine we had four groups with uh, 80 suites in each group. Well the first thing I do is I think to myself what question do I know that could help me answer this? Well I know that 4 times 8 is on my tables and I know that the answer to that is 32. Now I think to myself how is 4 times 8 different to 4 times 80? Well this means I have 10 times more in each group, which means my answer is also going to be 10 times more. So instead of being 32, it's going to be 320. Now let's try uh, this question here. Uh, 7 times 300. Maybe there's 7 schools and there's 300 people in each school, and I want to work out how many uh, students that is in total. Well, just like last time, I think to myself, what question could help me answer that? And I know that 7 times 3 is on my tables, so that would be a good choice. I know that 7 times 3 is 21. And now I think to myself, how does 7 times 3 look different from 7 times 300? Well, 
I still have seven groups, but instead of having three in each group, I'll have 300, which is 100 times more. So I would expect my answer to also be 100 times more. So instead of being 21, it's going to be 2,100. Now here's a little tip that might help you with this. Um, when I'm dealing with numbers which are 10 times bigger, my answers have an extra zero or have a zero added. And when I'm uh, dealing with numbers which are 100 times bigger, my answers have two zeros added. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. Uh, for more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.